Hey, just a quick video today. I didn't manage to record one yesterday because I had a family incident in the morning, so I basically wrote off my whole morning. Nothing serious, but something I had to deal with. So that was a morning gone. And then after lunch, I went to meet a guy I've partnered up with on one of my bigger websites that's in the cycling niche. So we had to discuss our plans for 2017, what we're going to do with the site and how we're going to try and grow it. So that's, I didn't really do any, I didn't sit down and do any real work, although, you know, the meeting with a, with a, my colleague is, is work, but it's not what I call really getting stuff done. So today is a day, Tuesday, that I look after my daughter. So again, limited amount of work, but it's lunchtime now, but two hours to do a bit of work and I'm going to get on with that. First thing this morning, I did actually do a little bit. I needed to send some pallet labels to my shipping company because I got another order of about one and a half thousand units. Came in, landed on the docks down in Felixstowe and it's been unloaded up in the containers and it's ready to be put on pallets and taken straight to Amazon warehouses so I can start selling it. So I needed to create some sh um, pallet labels in the Amazon seller dashboard and send it to my shipping agent, my freight forwarder, and I also needed to provide some other reference documentation from which I've done this morning first thing. So hopefully they can get on with that and get some more stock in Amazon. And I also had to create a new user account for a user for my course, which is great. And did that this morning. So now what I want to do now is I want to watch the end of a webinar that I started yesterday. And it's it's from the website Authority Hacker and the, basically the whole point of these kind of webinars are they're, they're promoting something at the end of it and they're promoting a course, like a $500 course or something, which I won't take. But I just wanted to listen to the webinar, hear what they've got to say and see if they're doing anything slightly different to what I do when they create a market affiliate websites. So I'm around halfway through that, I'm going to watch the rest of it now. You know, it's, it's decent content, but it's, it's nothing I don't really know. And I think the way I do them myself is a little bit simpler, a little bit straightforward, but there are things to learn. So I want to watch the rest of this webinar now, webinar replay. There's a few other things. Again, I've got a couple of notes here. So I've got Facebook ads. This is more for the rest of the week. So tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I want to be doing this. When I look at my Facebook ads, I'm going to run another set of Facebook ads because I've spent in total about £70 on my last ad campaign. And if you remember, I'm trying to promote a heavy discount code for one of my products that I'm selling on Amazon. So basically, got a ad, ad to get people to click on it to go to my website landing page and they have to enter an email address to get a discount code. And the ad seems to be performing really well, as in they're getting lots of clicks. And the cost per click is about 19 pence, which is pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. But I've only had eight email signups. So... So, so to put this in context, maybe between 250 to 300 clicks through to my website, but only eight people have actually entered their email address for a discount code. So something's not right there. Either I'm not targeting the right people, so people that aren't interested in my products are going to my website and then obviously not bothered entering the email because they're not interested, or the adverts don't explain well enough what the person's going to get when they click on it. So they're clicking on something and then they land on the page and again they say, oh, you know, I'm not really interested. So that's two things I can look at. But the first thing I'm going to look at, I'm going to keep the adverts and the targeting exactly the same, but I'm going to update my landing page. So the page to get to, I'm going to modify that a bit. I'm going to put a bit more social proof. So I'm going to put some testimonials from people that have bought the product and love it. And maybe lay it out a little bit differently to try and encourage people to sign up more. So I'll probably spend another 50 or 60 pounds on another batch of ads to see if I can increase this conversion rate. That's something I want to do this week. Five affiliate websites I registered last week. I need to carry on with them, so I need to get, I've got three left to do. I need to get an article, three product pages, sitemaps created, sent off and uh, registered with um, Bing and Google search engines, so I want to do that this week. And something that was talked about in the webinar, something I've known about and want to do a lot more of is guest posting. So I'm going to look at guest posting and guest posting opportunities and seeing if I can increase my guest posting and the backlinks I get from them to one of my affiliate websites. So I'll probably choose the website I set up during my course, the barbecue website. I'll probably, because I've done zero backlinking on that and it's doing pretty well. So that's made maybe £4,000 in total. So I want to try and generate more backlinks 
to more specific content to see if it can increase rankings, increase traffic and increase sales on that. So that's something I want to look into. And then another final thing I want to do, this is really annoying actually, it's a bit of a waste of time. This is to do with my e-commerce again. I've got, I'm selling mainly in the UK, but I, I've enrolled in a pan-European program. That means I can sell abroad, sell in Italy, Germany, France, and Spain. And basically Amazon ships off a load of my stock over to the warehouses in those, in those countries so people can get next year delivery in those countries. And I was selling really well. All three of my products were selling really well. But then I went out of stock for two of my products before Christmas and I'm back in stock now and selling well in the UK. And they're backlisted available to buy in these European countries, but the translations are all messed up. What I did before, before when I was selling, I got professional translations done. So I paid about $30 for each product that I've got listed to get it translated into the right language. So I spent quite a bit of money getting all the translations done professionally. And then I spent time putting these translations onto these European marketplaces, Amazon websites. But when they went out of stock and then came back in again, it's like Amazon's completely forgot the translations I put in and it's just gone back to sort of default auto translations, which isn't very good. And it's not, and it hasn't got all my keywords in the back end that I'm targeting and my, isn't laid out nicely. My bullet points and descriptions aren't laid out properly and translated properly. And my heading isn't translated properly for these different European marketplaces. So it's really annoying. So I'm gonna have to go back in and manually translate them. So I wanna do that this week because I was selling you know, Italy, for example, one of my products got up to selling 20 units a day, which is amazing. Just one product in Italy, but now it's dropped to basically one or even zero most days because no one's finding it. The translations are rubbish. It's not showing up in the results. So I need to get on that this week as well. So that's my plans this week. So today, watch the rest of that webinar and maybe probably look at my affiliate websites if I, if I get time. But definitely the rest of the week, I'm going to crack on with that list of things. Okay, so have a great day. I'll check in later.